All right, so let's take a look at this video. We're going to uh, find a cost function, and here's your cost function, Cx, C of x equals mx plus b, where m, the slope, is our marginal cost, and b, which is our, is our fixed cost, it's our y-intercept. And this, this equation probably looks familiar. You're probably used to seeing it as y equals mx plus b, slope-intercept form of the line. All right, so let's look and see what kind of an example we have here. Okay, so okay, so here it says the revenue in millions of dollars from the sale of X units at a home supply store outlet is given by R of X equals 0.25X, and the profit in millions of dollars from the sale of X units is given by P of X is equal to this, and they want us to find the cost function. All right, well, the one thing you need to remember that you need to remember is, or you need to know, well, you need to know that the profit function is revenue minus cost. Okay, the profit function is equal to revenue minus cost. Let's let's write this a little bit so it's not so cluttered, cluttered up. The profit we'll represent with P is equal to the revenue R minus the cost C. So that's profit. It's revenue minus cost. Well, they want us to find the cost function and they're giving us the profit and the revenue function. Okay, so to find the cost function well, if I add C to both sides and I subtract P, then that's going to give me what? C equals R. Whoop, I'm sorry. Is equal to R minus P. Okay, so I move the C over here, so that's plus C. Move the P over here, so that's minus P. So there's my cost. All right, so let's go ahead and find our cost function. So for part A, well, my cost is my revenue, which is 0.25x, 0.25x, minus my profit, which is 0.086x minus 1.5. Okay, so here, make sure, make sure that you don't leave out the parentheses. Okay, because it's minus, it's minus this whole thing. It's minus the entire profit function. So you have to make sure you have that in parentheses. And so I get my cost function is 0.25x minus 0.086x plus 1.5. And so my cost function, so that's going to be 0.25 minus 0.08 six and that's going to be 0.164x plus 1.5 and so there's the cost function okay there's my cost function now and that's the answer to part uh, a well what about part b what is the break-even point well Actually, in this problem, there's two ways that you can do it. I'm only going to work it one way, uh, and I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you how to set up the other way. But I'm going to work it just one of the ways. Uh, one way that you can do it is by setting the revenue equal to the cost. Okay, you can set the revenue function equal to the cost function and then solve for x because isn't that what break even is okay it's when your what your profit is zero okay it's when your profit is zero so so actually let's look at this profit is equal to revenue minus cost and your break even is when profit is zero right you see that and if i add c to both sides I get cost is equal to revenue or revenue equal to cost so that's one way you can do it 
and and you actually have they give you the revenue function and you found the cost function so you could set this function equal to this one and do it but what we're going to do we're just going to set the profit function equal to zero okay so that's going to give us 0 086x minus 1.5 equals zero so we set the profit function equal to zero that's when you break even and then we solve so we move the 1.5 over so 0 086x is equal to 1.5 divide both sides by 0 0.086 and I get x is equal to, let's see, is equal to 17.44 units. So I would uh, maybe round up and say 18, 18 units. Okay because you're not going to sell 0.44 of something. Okay, so so there's your break even point. All right. So hopefully this video helped. Like I said, check out the other ones. I've got some more dealing with the cost function. So uh, give me a like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.